Hello, uh, welcome back guys. Uh, today video, I love to show you guys uh, how I uh, uh, do the valve lapping job. Uh, I have the cylinder head already uh, poured and polished and also I have a set of uh, stainless steel valve and also the Ferrer valve spring. So the last thing we uh, have to do is lap in the valve. Make sure everything is sealed and uh, put the stuff back together. Alright, let's get to work. Uh, I have right here is the K24 head. Uh, I already done with the port and polish. Uh, I use the stock valve to do the lapping job. Uh, due to the old head, the surface of the seat is look very rough. So uh, I'm not gonna use the brand new valve to do the lapping job. So that's kind of dry out the valve very bad. So what I do is I use the stock valve. And I go every single one, make sure it's look nice and clean. And also on the exhaust side, do the same way. What I have over here is a set of stainless steel valve. This one is a flat fade, so I kind of give you a little bit higher on compression. And also I have a set of uh, valve spring and retainer over there. This thing I think is around 100 or 105 pounds very strong. Um, even the surface already lapping but it doesn't mean this thing is gonna be CO 100% with the new valve. It feels very good but uh, I have to add the new lapping compound and do it by hand all over again. So make sure the new valve and uh, uh, the old seat, they uh, seal together. Good, so let's do the valve lapping job. Uh, back home, I used to uh, use a chopstick to attach with the plastic tubing so uh, you can connect with the valve and do the lapping job by hand. But today, I use the aluminum rod. So I, it's not a bamboo chopstick, but it's aluminum, so it works great.
Yeah, I have to hold the two valve with my finger. And also in the port, I uh, fill it up with the gasoline. And uh, so far, I don't see any leak, any gas come out. So that means uh, your valve job is good. Uh, the valve seat in the valve is sealed very good. So that's good to go. After a long hour lapping the valve, I finally got everything done. Uh, this cylinder head is going to run on the nitro engine. So I'm not going to yield any valve seal at all, so I just leave it the way it is. Uh, the last thing I have to do is uh, compress the valve spring and install the valve keeper. And very much that the cylinder head is ready. So uh, I'm not gonna show you guys the uh, how I put in the valve keeper because it's just a long boring job. So you know I don't have to show you. And also uh, I have another cylinder head right here. I want to talk about it. Uh, <clears throat> This is the K28 2 head. Very much, it's very first cylinder head. I do the porting and dimble. You guys can see it's right there. It surprised me that I have too many run on this one. Runs from the 12 second down to 11 second and end up with the 10 second. Uh, I mean, uh, too many run, I'm not even remember. Uh, the engine is revving very, very high, you know, everything between 9,500 to 10,000. Uh, but the valve, it looks nice and clean. Uh, what I have in here is uh, the same stainless steel valve. This uh, run with the SuperTech uh, uh, valve spring and uh, retainer. I mean, it's, it's very reliable, even on super high ribs engine, they still hold. So I'm happy with it. Uh, kind of show you guys the stuff that I've been made and uh, still continue to do it. Uh, yeah, so the video is, will be end up right here. I hope uh, this uh, will be a helpful tip. Uh, kind of show you guys, share with you guys how I do my cylinder head port and the valve lapping job. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. See you guys next time.